Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. The prospective owners of Everton, the Freakin Group, are looking to increase the club's footprint around the uh, the Dockland site, obviously for the new home of Everton. Most likely it will mean buying Nelson Dock, which is immediately to the south of Bramley Moor, to create more space for uh, entertainment and leisure offerings uh, and, you know, simply maybe putting a new a new venue there. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Wait and see what they do. There's also... Um, talk that they'd like to increase the size of the capacity for the new stadium as well, the new Everton Stadium down there at Bramley Moor Dock. And buying Nelson Dock would make complete sense to me. It is obviously right next to the stadium. Um, visually, maybe it wouldn't look as good if that was filled in and there was something on it. It is, uh, the ground looks spectacular, obviously, with... The, with the dock on one side, with the water channel and then the river on the west end. But if you were to look at it from a pure business point of view and, and not only getting people to uh, more space, sorry, for it when Everton are playing, but just other things of an arena was there. You know, a massive arena has been built next to the Etihad Stadium, which has took a lot of the major acts away from Liverpool in, um, in spring in... Uh, autumn and in the winter, um, where you know the MS arena can't compete. And for if Everton were to, uh, to or the freaking group on behalf of Everton were to build a new arena down there, a 25,000 arena that could attract those people, it would make the venue a 365 day venue, which is what Everton will need. Um, it would massively help you know PSR and and also you know if you were to leave a little bit of room who's to say you couldn't expand the south stand as well further back if want if you wanted to increase the capacity of the stadium that way it would need filling in of course which we've seen the uh, happen to Bramley Moor Dock but we've already seen that happen for one so why not go all the way and do it again you could build hotels on it it would just give them a lot more room to play with whereas at the moment it, it you know very very Little happens with Nelson Dock. It is, as I said, it, it is more, it's more just aesthetically pleasing with the water off the windows and all that. But if you are serious about Everton Football Club and about um, making money, I think that is that would be a huge, huge step forward. So we'll wait and see. Obviously, the Freakins haven't taken over yet. We're still waiting for that to happen. And... Um, you know, but there's still obviously issues with that because of the court case going on in America right now, which seems to be the only real thing, um, obviously involving Triple Seven and ACAP. That's the only thing really holding her up at the moment. Obviously, once that's done, you'd like, or once that's all sorted out, you'd like to think it would be full steam ahead for that. And uh, hopefully, happens before Christmas. Hopefully, anyway. Talking of the stadium, uh, last night saw the spotlight on the outside and the floodlight being tested at the new Everton Stadium. And as you can see there from those pictures, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, the blue spotlights on the outside, the uh, the the spot the the floodlight so impressive. It looks incredible. And, you know, the stadium looked incredible anyway, but with those spotlights on the outside, it just, I mean, look at that picture there. It just looks unbelievable. It just, it's going to be such a huge, huge thing for the city. And you can imagine next to it having an arena next to it with those kinds of blue spotlights on as well. Come on, give us a bit of that. If we're going to do it, let's go all the way. But that stadium is edging closer every single day. There is very, very little to do to do on it now there's a few sort of you know the stadium obviously the pitch is getting seeded in the next week or so on the outside it's about you know sorting out the turnstiles uh finishing off the uh outside the east stand um the fan plaza and just bits and pieces around the walls and the fences and those kind of things but the stadium itself it's pretty much done now um I think there's a little bit on the south stand, a few little bits, a little bit of snagging these sort of, but it's looking absolutely incredible. And uh, listen, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to move in there next year. Uh, Marco Silva 
obviously the manager of Fulham, has spoken about Everton and Goodison Park in his press conference ahead of the game. He said it was an honour to manage a club like Everton. I'm not the first or last for sure to say that because when you have been, you can feel how it's a big club, how they have a massive fan base. On, on Goodison Park, he said it's an historic stadium, an old school one as well. There's not, there's something special about the place. You can feel it. So great words there from Marco Silva, who, who a lot of people, a lot of people feel like, you know, he never, never quite got to do the job properly at, uh, at Everton, but he's doing a good job at Fulham. Hopefully he won't be doing a good job on Saturday. Um, and Everton get the three points, which, you know, we will tell you all about. So make sure you check out our reactions straight after that game. Make sure you check out the match preview that Baz and myself has done. Start 11 show as well that I've done. Uh, yeah, and uh, obviously we'll be live here on Monday at quarter past one on YouTube to discuss everything that's gone. And make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier where we do daily live videos and all the videos have no adverts on. The podcast have no adverts on. So why not? The link is in the description. The QR code's going on the screen now. See you later.